Iris detested deception. As a librarian, her life revolved in the comforting honesty of printed words. So, finding a hidden compartment in a dusty first edition of Moby Dick containing a microchip and a cryptic note was enough to send her into a tailspin. The note, signed The Sparrow, instructed her to deliver the chip to a dead drop at the local cat cafe. Now, Iris loved cats, but this whole clandestine business felt straight out of a cheap spy novel, a genre she actively avoided. Obligation warring with her disdain for espionage, Iris took the chip. Of course, things wouldn't be simple. As she slipped the chip into a suspiciously placed cat toy, a man with a brooding stare and a sharp suit materialized beside her. This, she concluded, was a very bad day to be a cat lady. The sparrow, he rasped, his voice sandpaper. Iris, channeling her inner librarian shush, merely shook her head. The man, however, wasn't easily deterred. He revealed himself as Agent Hawk, a government operative chasing a rogue spy ring. He believed the chip held the key. Iris, caught between her aversion to intrigue and a genuine desire to help, and maybe a bit of morbid curiosity, reluctantly agreed to help. Together, they embarked on a chaotic adventure that unfolded like a poorly edited spy movie. Their deciphering skills, mostly Iris's thanks to her encyclopedic knowledge of obscure trivia, led them on a chase through dusty bookstores, hidden passages within the library, Turns out, her workplace was more fascinating than she thought. And even a near disaster involving a malfunctioning laser grid in a suspiciously abandoned arcade. Through it all, Iris remained the voice of reason amidst Agent Hawke's brooding intensity. She discovered she wasn't as bad at this spy business as she thought, her love of forgotten facts proving surprisingly useful. More importantly, she found herself enjoying their odd partnership, a grudging respect blooming amidst the near-death experiences. Finally, they exposed the villain, a disgruntled former librarian with a penchant for Agatha Christie novels. Turns out, a love of classic literature wasn't a guarantee of good character. After a showdown as thrilling and slightly comical as a librarian fight scene could be, they emerged victorious. In the aftermath, Agent Hawk surprised Iris with a small, purring package, a rescued kitten from the cat cafe. Apparently, even brooding spies had a soft spot for feline companions. Iris, heart overflowing with affection for the tiny ball of fluff and a newfound appreciation for the thrill of the chase, knew her life would never be the same. Maybe, just maybe, she'd found a new genre to explore one with a healthy dose of intrigue, purrs, and perhaps even a happily ever after written in invisible ink.